Welcome guys, I am Harriet, and you're watching EV News on Jexton Electric. In this edition, we gonna be focusing on Tesla news and updates. Click subscribe and the bell icon, so you don't miss out on our next edition. Let's start with software update for the Model Y and Tesla cars in general. Tesla began rolling out the next major version of the FSD beta on August 20th. In addition to some improvements, Elon Musk announced that Tesla will increase the price of the FSD by 20% in North America, starting from September 5, 2022. Currently, the price in the US is $12,000 and $12,800 in Canada. He tweeted, after wide release of FSD beta 10.69.2, price of FSD will rise to $15,000 in North America on September 5th. Musk then responded to a tweet that added, how easy it was to upgrade your existing vehicle to FSD, via the Tesla mobile application. Musk said, note, you can upgrade your existing car to FSD in two minutes via the Tesla app. Let me take you through highlights of the new FSD beta 10.69. Number 1, Lanes. They have added a new deep lane guidance module to the Vector Lanes neural network, which fuses features extracted from the video streams with course map data. That is, lane counts and lane connectivities. This architecture achieves a 44% lower error rate on lane topology, compared to the previous model, enabling smoother control before lanes and their connectivities becomes visually apparent. Smooth driving, they have increased smoothness for protected right turns, by improving the association of traffic lights with slip lanes versus yield signs with slip lanes. This reduces full slowdowns, when there are no relevant objects present and also improves yielding position when they are present. Left turns, they have improved unprotected left turns, with more appropriate speed profile when approaching and exiting median crossover regions. Safety. They have added control for arbitrary low speed moving volumes from occupancy network. Made speed profile more comfortable when creeping for visibility, to allow for smoother stops when protecting for potentially occluded objects. FSD brain improvements. They have upgraded occupancy network to use video instead of images from single time step. This temporal context allows the network to be robust to temporary occlusions and enables prediction of occupancy flow. More of this release is available on teslarty.com, link on the description. Tesla has announced a new rear wheel drive configuration for the Model Y that will be built for the European market. Simply called Model Y by Tesla's German design studio, the car starts at €53,990, US $53,965.45. Tesla lists 430 kilometers, 267.19 miles of range on a single charge based on WLTP certification with a top speed of 217 km per hour. 134,838 miles per hour. Like other Model Y cars, the price of the car already includes an environmental bonus of 7,500 euros. Tesla says it is targeting vehicles with a base model net price of just $65,000. However, Germany has discussed eliminating environmental credits entirely, as the adoption of electric vehicles continues to grow in the country. According to the design studio, Deliveries are expected to start in December 2022, but could last until February 2023. The Model Y rear-wheel drive will ship as early as November to some markets. A Tesla owner's DK, who first saw the new design, said deliveries to Denmark are expected to start a month before arriving in Germany. It is currently unclear whether the car will be built at the Gigafactory in Berlin or Shanghai. Tesla premium connectivity through Starlink V2 has been confirmed. So far, 
Elon Musk has generally ignored questions about the possibility of connecting Tesla's electric cars to the internet using Starlink. At least not after SpaceX and T-Mobile announced a partnership to use Starlink V2 satellites, that can send data directly to mobile devices. Through this partnership, Starlink V2 can usher in an era of connectivity with no dead zones around the world. This immediately raised questions from Tesla owners at Silicon Valley, will Tesla be getting this service as well with the premium connectivity? Elon responded, yes, let's listen to Elon talk about this at Starbase, during the SpaceX T-Mobile event. So, it's something that we really want to emphasize, because I think there might be some confusion out there, is that this is the, Star, the Starlink uh, second generation satellites will be able to broadcast direct to cell phones. So the cell phones you're holding up there, it will be able to broad, uh, transmit directly to your cell or mobile, mobile phone. So uh, now this, this, this won't have the kind of bandwidth that a Starlink terminal would have, but it, it will enable texting, it, it will enable uh, I images, and if you're, if you're, if there aren't too many people in, this, in the cell zone, you could even potentially have a little bit of video. He then went on saying on Twitter, note, connectivity will be two to four megabits per cell zone, so it will work great for texting and voice calls, but not high bandwidth. Let's listen. Certainly if you're, if you're walking outside or if you, if you just pull your phone, cell phone out, it'll, it'll work great, but we think even in your pocket and in your, in your car, it'll, it'll, it'll work uh, well. And, and we're, we think probably uh, up to two to four megabits per cell zone. So that's uh, you know th thousands of, of uh, voice calls and um, you know millions of, of text messages. By 2035, California is expected to become the first U.S. state to ban the sale of new gasoline vehicles. But this decision is facing a major backlash from other states, which we will talk about in a while. California requires all new cars sold in the state after 2035, be 100% free of fossil fuel emissions. This rule, issued by the California Air Resources Board, more commonly known as CARB, prohibits drivers from purchasing new vehicles that use internal combustion engines. The New York Times first published this story, Additionally, an interim target has been set for California's ban on ICE vehicles. By 2026, 35% of all new car sales in California are expected to be zero-emission vehicles. Golden State hopes this figure will reach 68% by 2030. The climate crisis is solvable if we focus on the big bold steps necessary to stem the tide of carbon pollution, Governor Gavin Newsom said in a statement. 17 states filed a lawsuit in the Federal Appeals Court to prevent California from banning the sale of new ICE cars after 2035. According to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, the Missouri State Attorney General, along with Ohio, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Montana, Nebraska, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, and West Virginia, have sued to prevent CARB from banning new ICE vehicles after 2035. The Missouri State Attorney General commented, if California can set restrictive gas emission standards, manufacturing becomes astronomically expensive, and those additional costs are passed on to consumers, many of which are Missourians. At the same time, 14 states, including Connecticut, Colorado, Delaware, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Vermont, Washington, and the District of Columbia, follow CARB standards as well, meaning that regulation regarding ICE sales would be far-reaching. Legally speaking, the opposition to CARB regulation is to regulate what the federal government considers interstate commerce, as permitted by the US Constitution. At the same time, CARB assumes that the federal government has limited ways to regulate regulations at the state level. CARB has long faced legal challenges from other states and companies like Toyota and GM, suing CARB for imposing emissions regulations. However, both have since withdrawn their requests. With such a large lawsuit, the case could end up in federal court as well as the Supreme Court, which will ultimately decide whether states can regulate emissions as CARB.
Tesla partner Panasonic is reportedly considering the possibility of building an electric vehicle battery plant in Oklahoma, United States, at a cost of around $4 billion. Before Panasonic made its decision to build a battery factory in Kansas, multiple reports said the Japanese company had considered both Kansas and Oklahoma as potential locations for its new venture. Panasonic's Kansas factory will produce 4680 batteries for Tesla's Gigafactory, which will produce popular cars like the Model Y, and new products like the Cybertruck in the near future. The Wall Street Journal, which is familiar with the matter, points out that Panasonic is currently considering Oklahoma as the location for a new battery plant. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please support us by subscribing to help us grow and also be part of our community here at Jexton Electric Channel as we have a mission to take the charge of fighting against climate change by bringing the future of sustainable energy closer to our viewers and subscribers showing that electric cars are the best cars in the world for more news and update on evs subscribe to this channel see you on our next ev news edition